We were introduced to Amadeo Avogadro when we talked about moles and learned of Avogadro's number. But Avogadro really studied gases. This is also a great opportunity to revisit his portrait, which always brings me joy. Avogadro studied the relationship between the volume of a gas and its amount. So just like Boyle and Charles, he was comparing one measurement of gas to another. And if you're measuring volume and amount, you must keep the other measurements constant. So in Avogadro's case, he had to keep his temperature and his pressure constant. Now this might be the silliest law of them all, because it shouldn't be a surprise to you that the amount of gas will be directly proportional to the volume. In simpler terms, if you blow into a balloon, it gets bigger. But Avogadro did the math to show that this was a direct proportionality, so that's why he gets credit for this law. It's important, however, that when talking about amounts of gas that were always in moles, the notion of Avogadro's law will remind you that we must be in moles. So let's look at the math. We said that volume is proportional to the number of moles, and if we get rid of that proportionality symbol, we have to introduce a constant. So I'll say volume equals a constant times the number of moles. Remember, n refers to the number of moles. As before, we can put the variables on one side and the constant over the other. So I will say the volume divided by the number of moles will equal a constant. If I have the constant on one side, I can compare my initial and final values, and I get a statement v1 over n1 equals v2 over n2. This should look a lot like Charles' law, because Charles' law was also a direct proportionality, just like Avogadro's law. Let's put it to use. I have 32 grams of nitrogen gas, and it's measured to have a volume of 15.2 liters. I want to know the volume of 18 grams of argon gas under the same conditions. Under the same conditions means under the same temperature and same pressure. Just like we had to convert all of our temperatures to Kelvin, we have to make sure we convert all of our amounts to moles. When I have 32 grams of nitrogen, first we should remember that nitrogen is a diatomic gas, it's N2. So one mole of nitrogen is equivalent to 28 grams. The grams cancel out, and that leaves me with 1.14 moles of nitrogen. and that's going to be N1 in my equation. I also am given 18 grams of argon. The molar mass of argon is 40 grams per mole. And I can cancel out the grams. And that gives me 0 0.45 moles of argon. And that's going to be N2 in my equation. So if I look at Avogadro's law, V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2. The question is asking for the new volume. The question is asking for V2. So if I do my cross multiplication, I can bring the amount of gas up here, and I can end up with the statement that V2 equals V1 N2 over N1. So V2 is going to equal V1, which is 15.2 liters, times N2, which we found to be 0.45 moles, all over N1, which we found to be 1.14 moles. You'll see that my moles cancel out, and I'm left with liters, so I get 6 liters of argon gas.